Yeah, so today we're looking at uh, a coolant check with a refractometer at uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. They have this new organic additive old antifreeze in there. And we use the anti-coolant from the manufacturer to make sure we have the right stuff because they don't mix very well with others. And then here we have a coolant refractometer. You can get this from eBay for $15 and more. Or Amazon, I think it starts at 20 In order to measure right, we need to know what stuff this is. Here we see it's ethylene glycol based. Ethylene glycol based. Um, that's what we need to know to read the refractometer correctly. Now, we opened at the filler cap and there could be steam coming out when the engine is hot and it could over bubble out there. So we want to avoid that and we are going to try this in the cold engine. Um, we check the filter cap, filler cap, I'm sorry, for the rubber seal that there is no cracks and damage to it. And then we get the refractometer out here. There's a little sucker on there and then this optical instrument. It's like a rifle scope. You look into one end, <coughs> the light comes in on this prism and on the blue area. There's a little flap on there. And um, we clean this thing from old fluid, so this should be super clean. And then we put a sample on there. Our sample size is only a few drops. So when you get your sucker out, here, you suck up some of the fluid, it's supposed to be purple. And you put a few drops on there. One or two you need. And then you use this little glass to squish the fluid around so that it covers the blue area completely. And then you hold it into the sunlight not straight into the sun, a little to the side, and then you see here where the arrow is. That's where you read. In this case, 58% ethylene glycol in the mix. <coughs> That's a little more than necessary. Uh, we wanted uh, 50%. So, somebody put uh, stuff in there, I have the feeling, like too much glycol way too much uh, antifreeze instead of the correct mix. So, when you're done, you clean the instrument because this will corrode like if it, you know, you leave the water on, uh, it might corrode uh, metal pieces on this part when you put it away for a while. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to refill <coughs> to top it off this pre-diluted stuff. It's perfect. You see it lasts 10 years, it says, on the container. So after 10 years or 150,000 miles, you would replace it. Filler cap goes back on. Close it tight. And then I think it's a good idea to show you how the fluid looks like in the glass. Um, you may think it's all rusty and wild in there, but it's not. Under um, certain angles, with the reflection on the stuff, wow, so it looks rusty, but it's not. Let me show this to you. So first of all, we check out the glycol content in here. So we mix it around a little get three drops on there, so this is straight out of the can here, out of the canister. Squish that a little, and then let's have a look. This should show 50. Let's see, this is a little bit clear. Here, this is very accurate, 50 exactly. That's where the blue line is there, the white and blue separation. That's exactly 50%. That's what we expected. So, you see how accurate this uh, fractometer is. And then you see in there, after 60,000 miles, it looks all weird, murky. See that? 
and even this one does. From a certain angles, you look at it looks like rusty, murky, but then again, in another angle, it's super transparent and it looks clear, right? So from here, it doesn't look clear, but from there, it does. So it depends on the angle and the sunlight, how rusty it looks, but it's not really rust. So I'm going to pour that in here. I'm not going to waste it. There it goes. And it is as poisonous as always, so keep your animals away, cats and dogs. 